Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about how to create Gantt chart in Tableau. So basically, if you are looking for something like this, the one that's showing you on my screen, which is like, you know, the kind of project plan, or you can say like um, uh, how the members of the different, um, uh, you know, teams or how the members of a team have been assigned to different projects and how much they are involved in those projects. So this particular chart can uh, help you while designing the project plan or creating some kind of schedules. So um, if you have these kind of requirements, the chart in Tableau can be very useful. It can also be helpful if you would like to share some kind of dependency and duration of the project. And also like how many you know, different members of the team have been utilized in different kind of project and what are their uh, you know, utilization percentage or how much hours they are involved in those. So whenever these um, kind of requirement you come across, you can use Gantt chart. The best thing is Gantt chart is directly available in Tableau. So I will be using the same simple super short data set, which is directly available in Tableau uh, for this uh, um, example. And if you will go to this show me option, you can find, you know, <clears throat> this Gantt chart at the uh, uh, left bottom corner, which says like the requirement is something like you should have at least one date, one or more dimension and zero or one measures, zero or, you know, more measures up to two for creating the Gantt chart. So before going on how to create the Gantt chart, let's talk, uh, you know, a couple of use cases like when you can use. The first, as we have already, you know, discussed, like uh, if you have to show the project plan, then you can use Gantt chart. Another can be like if you have to find a particular month uh, in which SIP mode has a maximum order. Like for example, let's say you have three, four delivery, of, uh, you know, models, SIP model, models. And if you want to know, like, you know, which were the busiest one in a particular time frame, then you can again use the Gantt chart in Tableau. And the same we are going to uh, talk in this particular video. You can also use, like, you know, um, find the waiting time in the hospital or duration of any event and the most popular event across the city or across the time period. So no matter what kind of requirement you have, if those fall somewhere around the plan, Gantt chart can be one of the best solutions that you can use. So let's just start and create a Gantt chart which will show which was the busiest, you know, shipping mode in a particular time frame. So we can take some particular time frame like, you know, a month or a couple of months and they can, then we can work on that. Let's just start and see this in Tableau. The first thing that we'll be doing is, as the requirement for the Gantt chart is, at least we should have one date. So we'll be using the order date. So drag this order date dimension in the column field. And then make sure that this is continuous. By default, it will discrete, make it continuous. And once it's done, we need to convert this into the day format, right? So just click it over this icon and select day over here. One more thing that you have to ensure that it's still continuous. If it's getting converted into discrete, you will have to convert it back to continuous. The next step is you, you need to add more dimensions. So more dimensions, what, what else we need here, right? So we may want to, uh, you know, look for the subcategory and SIP mode, right? Because we want to find like which was the busiest SIP mode across some particular span of time. So for that, what I will do, I will drag this subcategory field in this row self and also will um, make this SIP mode field in the row cell and your graph will come something like this, right? You can change the seat name also like um, Gantt chart and you may also change the title also Gantt chart in Tableau or whatever is your requirement. Okay. If you want, you may also convert these dates into a different format or just simply right click on it and select format now go to this field and it's already been selected. So all you have to do is go to dates and select it over here. So you may make it like uh, DD, MM, YY, something like this, right? Or you can make it like DD, MM, something like this. Depending upon in what format you are looking for, right? Now go to click access, edit access, and you might remove this day of order date if you don't want to sue anything. Or if you want, you can change it also depending upon your requirement. As you can see, things are pretty blurred over here, right? We 
cannot read this graph clearly and for the same reason we may need to filter this gantt chart on the basis of date right we may want to find the busiest sick mode in a particular interval right if you need for multiple time frame then you might want the user to get a filter so for that what i will do i will drag this order date in the filter cell and we may want to select some particular month right so what i am doing i will get this month here and we'll select a particular month for example let's say i am selecting uh april 2019 so let's click it over there and now this particular graph has been filtered on april 2019 Okay, so uh, we are basically uh, looking for a particular month duration, right? If you want, you can also make this little large by going to the format, cell size, and taller, so that this will look pretty uh, little good. The next step is to create a calculated field. Why we need to create a calculated field is, as we want to know, like which is the you know busiest ship mode. So for that, we need to understand how much time we took. from the date of order to the date of delivery so basically you need to subtract ship date from the order date and we need it in day so for that you need to create a calculated field what i will do i will go to this icon and select create calculated field i will name this as like uh, you know um something like uh, ship date minus um order date or you may want to put some other you know meaningful name depending upon your requirement now there is a function called as date difference i will select that function and i will need in the day so i will write day over here then a start date a start date will be order date like the first date and then when it was delivered or when it was shipped right so ship date done you will find the calculation is valid and simply click okay once you have created this calculated field now it's time to use this calculated field so how you will be using it so uh, for the gantt gantt chart we need this in size because currently it's showing you a simple line over there so we need to make if you will look into this chart it's something like on the uh, you know this particular graph varies on the basis of size so you may want to drag this field in size right now it's getting in the shape one more thing is as you can see the default aggregation is some but we may not be interested for right because we are looking for um, you know the uh, day differences on the basis of uh, sub category and ship mode so average can be a better option to visualize this so just click it over here or right click on it go to major and select average cool we have almost done what we needed right as you can see in april this standard mode seems to be the busiest one for all kind of sub categories can you see this you can even enable the text over here right and uh, what we can do in the shade of showing the dates over here we can show the days how many days it took from the order to the shipment right and now as you can see most of the time a standard class was the busiest one for almost all sub categories right sometime you know uh, maybe the others right others might be the busiest also but most of the time a standard class have been the busiest one right now for the better visualization what we can do more is you might want to you might want to make this with different colors so that it can be easily identifiable so what i will do i will drag the ship mode into the color cell also now now as you can see we have the four Uh, ship mode with four different colors, and as this standard color is showing you with uh, you know the high density, and so we can say that in April 2019, most of the orders were shipped by a standard class shipping mode, even though the other was also popular across some region. For example, around 14th Feb, this first class was also somehow popular. But uh, if you look into the overall month, then this standard class was the best, or we can say the busiest one. so this is the easiest method on which you can you know create the gantt chart if you want the user to have the access to control the month you can simply right click on it and click on show filter right not depending upon your requirement like if i want the user to only you know select one month at a time so I, what i can do i can convert this into the single value list right or as 
we have a lot of data over here so it's good if you will convert this into single value drop down right you may want to change the title also so right, click on it and select edit title and here i can make it like a date period right and now for whatever month you want let's say we want for feb 2018 so simply do it right you simply change the month august 2016 right january 2016 so whatever uh, change the date and you will be getting the busiest shipping mode in that particular month so this was all about how to create gantt chart in tableau and where exactly you can use it you can subscribe to our channel for such amazing videos on tableau and other part of data analytics we are very soon coming with a dedicated course on data science as well please subscribe and if you face any issue while creating this gantt chart please let us know in the comment thank you